President Joe Biden rolled out his diplomatic red carpet for Prime Minister Fumio Kishida of Japan, calling him a visionary and courageous leader in Asia and beyond. When Russia began its brutal invasion of Ukraine two years ago, he did not hesitate to condemn, sanction, and isolate Russia and provide billions in assistance to Ukraine. The leaders unveiled new initiatives, including a joint lunar mission, investment in semiconductors and clean energy, and research on quantum computing and artificial intelligence. But the strongest focus is on military deterrence, enhancing cooperation not only in the South China Sea, but also in the air. For the first time, Japan and the United States and Australia will create a network system of air, missile, and defense architecture. There will be an upgrade of command and control of American and Japanese soldiers, increasing force interoperability. With ramped up defense spending and high-tech capacity, Tokyo is a key player in Biden's regional strategic architecture to deter China. Japan is set to begin supporting the AUKUS partnership between the U.S., Australia and the United Kingdom, said Kishida. For Japan to have a direct cooperation with AUKUS, Nothing has been decided at this moment. Going forward with U.S., U.K., or with Australia, with such countries in bilateral or multilateral frameworks, we will continue cooperation. Biden and Kishida will expand their meeting into a trilateral summit Thursday, adding Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos Jr., another U.S. ally. That meeting will focus on freedom of navigation as tensions in the South China Sea ramp up between Beijing and Manila. Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Mao Ning said the U.S. move stoke confrontation. No external intervention will affect China's will and determination to safeguard its territorial sovereignty and maritime rights and interests. Kushida also came to the defense of Washington's cherry blossom trees, offering to replace the hundreds that must be removed due to construction. The Japanese government gifted the original 3,000 in 1912, delighting Washington tourists each spring. Wednesday evening, the U.S. president hosts a state dinner for Kushida, the fifth foreign leader provided with the honor since Biden took office. Patsy Widakuswara, VOA News.